In the past few years, I've been swallowed up, living in a sense of stagnation. Some serpent specter gobbled me up, and I've been living in her ghoulish belly, watching her shed her skin, as I would like to have, but never quite managing. Change, I've found, looks very different the older we get. There are fewer graduations, seldom a report card to stuff in my bag, smaller victories, celebrated in quieter ways. I don't know if it's even possible, but in the belly of a fanged beast, I stopped growing. I stopped writing down, an introvert's biggest tool, all the ways in which I existed. Who this inner world was on the page helped me find where she would be in physical spaces, find how she occupied parts of the world, understand her coordinates based on the phases of the moon, the angle of the sun, the stars dwelling in the night sky. The sprawling, snaking word clouds had always contained familiar themes, rounded bubbles and nimbus billows of what it meant to be me, to be Jessica, to be a girl venturing into the silent landscape of womanhood, the inverted habit of introspection, the tormented task of telling tales, the woman shape-shifting, venturing, expanding, and contracting. These rain clouds of vowels and consonants began to diminish. I watched the rest of the world carry on growing. Fields tilled, seeds planted, gardens tended. Death and rebirth. I was, again, where I often sequestered myself, suspended above, or perhaps simply to the side, of everyone else. I'd found a way, yet again, to hibernate from myself. When I watched the bodies here grow, different colors in their hair, new lilts to their voice, a blossom that hadn't even been planted some years ago now flourishing, I remind myself of how behind I feel, of how growth does not evade any of us, of how, as though keeping it undocumented, my own growth did not exist, the pain did not press itself against me, and instead I am a memory, a past tense. There is a pain to growing. There is a constant fight to break out of the old skins that weigh us down and no longer serve us. There is a tearing, cracking, breaking. But beneath this ripping apart of ourselves, there is a freedom. There is a universal, unifying truth bestowed in each of us. Just as we are allied in our pain, in the lacerations of ourselves, we are bound by the knowledge and the inescapable truth that this mutilation, this breaching of the old, is necessary, is beautiful, for it results in the new.